hello welcome back so far we have learned how to configure our clock for our project then set up for cystic timer after that we have learned how to enable a pin as a output and today I'm going to teach you how to enable a pin as an input or work with push button all right in this project I don't need clock and cystic because I'm using internal clock all right my user button is connected to PA0 so the first step is to enable the clock for port A and this should be 0 uh, let's go to definition In RCC registers HP1 port A is 0 let's go to 0 it says in order to enable the clock for port A you should put 1 in 0 bit 1 in 0 bit and the next step is to select the PA0 as an input so let's go to GPIO registers mode register if I want to make the pin as an output I should put a 0 in 2 bit since my push button is connected to PA0 I should put 0 in 0 and 0 in 1 so let's do it in GPIO A mode register zero in zero and zero in one make the pin as input remember that the state of the pin is always input so if you want to make a pin as an input you can write this piece of code or not both has the same meaning then we should go to GPIOA input data register in GPIO input data register I can check the state of the pin so whenever my button is pushed, I understand. So here I check the PA0 pin. But in my project, I want to check that if this button is pushed. And I want to enable a LED. GPIOG output data register put one in 13 bit which is my LED and this could be LED yeah, alright let's build that to see if you have any problem or not And no error, no warning. So in this project, if I press the user button, my LED should be enabled. So the first step of my project was to enable the clock for port A because my push button was connected to port A, pin 0. Then I made my pin as a input. After that, by this piece of code, I check if my 
push button is pressed or not. If it was pressed, my LED will be enabled. And let's slow it on the board. As you can see, my LED is off. If I press user button, it will be enabled. And that means my push button configuration is working very well. If you have any question, write them down in the comment section below. Bye.